Today we're going to make mini me pickled meatloaf. The star of the show is Mr. and Mrs. Pickle. There they are. So Mr. Pickle has kindly volunteered Mrs. Pickle for a magic trick today. Mr. Pickle is going to sit over here and watch. It's called the guillotine trick, Mrs. Pickle. Are you excited about being a star in the magic show? Oh, no! <laughs> Here's the guillotine. As you see, it has a very sharp blade and it goes right through. But don't worry, everything's safe. I've done this a million times. You ready, Mrs. Pickle? No! Come on, it's going to be fine. Listen, we're not going to put your head in there because that would be a disaster if something went wrong. But nothing's going to go wrong. But what we're going to do is we're going to put your feet in there. Oh, oh, no! Put your feet in there, Mrs. Pickle. All right, everything looks fine. It's going to work fine. All right, audience, are you ready? The guillotine trick. One, two, three. Cut! It didn't fall! Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, that's freaking... Unfortunately, we had a little accident with Mrs. Pickle on the magic trick, but uh, she's going to be okay. The ambulance is on the way, okay? So, Mrs. Pickle got to go over here for now to the ambulance come. So, now we're going to start with our pickled meatloaf, mini meats. This is uh, three pounds of the meatloaf mixture, the veal, pork, and beef mixture. And here we have two cups of dill pickle juice. And I already have three eggs in there, but we're going to do a total of four eggs in there. All right, and we're going to beat it up a little bit. All right, looking good. So we've got uh, two cups of pickle juice, four eggs beaten up. And then we, we have, I don't measure, so this is, uh, but I measured on, you know, to put it on camera, but, so this is about a teaspoon of garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, what else, uh, oregano and basil, about a teaspoon of each, and then three teaspoons of Coleman's English mustard powder. So we want to put, uh, sprinkle that in there, start with about half of the mixture. And then we're going to put in a one Vidalia onion. All right, so I'll put about half of that guy in there. Yeah. And then we're going to put about half the mixture in here just to get it going, get it moist enough. And then it's time to roll up your sleeves. That's just working in a little. You don't want to over mix the meatloaf, right? Because it makes it too dense. So this is good right here. And we're going to start to work in our breadcrumbs. We have three cups of uh, the panko plain. Work that in there a little bit. Some more pickle juice going. Let's flip this over. Uh oh, gotta escape these. Right. Get the rest of the pickle juice in there. Pickle juice and egg. Back with the breadcrumbs. Alright, and back with the spices. And this is going to be good. So 
So the three pounds of meatloaf mix made seven mini me meatloaves. Okay? And uh, so the next step is we're going to put a whole, another whole Vidalia onion around the edges. We're going to sprinkle it around the edges here. And these are going to get crispy and delicious. All right, get this guy some. And then these guys are going to go in a 350 degree oven for 40 minutes. And we have an update on Mrs. Pickle. The surgeons did a fantastic job. And she's actually fine. As you can see, her her feet have been uh, beautifully reattached, and and uh, Mr. Pickle is very happy, and they've lived happily ever after. Time to make our glaze for our mini me pickled meatloaves. So we're starting out with two cups of ketchup and eight teaspoons of Dijon mustard, and then we got two cups of finely chopped dill pickles then we have four tablespoons of dill pickle juice and four tablespoons of water and then we have four teaspoons of Worcestershire Just give it a nice mix here. This is going to be a nice glaze for our little mini knees. All right, so we're just going to uh, get our mini knees out of the oven and glaze these guys up, and we'll put them back in the 350 oven for 24, 25 more minutes, and that should do it. We have our mini me's out of the oven after 40 minutes, looking good. Just starting to get nice and brown on top. Now we're gonna glaze them. Get that glaze on there, it's gonna make a nice crust. Looking good here. You gotta like pickles for this recipe, folks. All right, they're all glazed up. And back in the oven. 350 for 25 minutes and it should be done. We'll see you soon. Right out of the oven are mini me's. Looking good. We put them under the broiler for about two minutes just to get that glaze a little crunchy. I'm gonna get one out of here right now. Not really a mini me after all. Pretty big me, but it's looking good, right? Wow. That's Pickled mini me's with glaze. We had some dill, dill pickle juice and some chopped up dills. About to have some. All that's left is a taste of this pickled meatloaf. Look at that. About to burn my mouth off, but I'll take it for the team. Oh my God. I'm not just saying this because I made it, but this is incredible. All right, well, time for us to eat. We'll talk to you later.